Today, man, it's a sad day. Today, I decided to delete my 96 overall center. Not at all. No one can stop me, I feel like the greatest. Don't say be humble, I patiently waited. All of this love and I ain't even made it. I got a plan for them niggas that hate it. Running some beers for my bros, I'ma make it. They want me going, I can't walk around naked. Even my brother got caught in the 80s. No one can stop me, I feel like the greatest. Hop in the foreign, I'm drifting on stupid. Niggas be broke like the fuck is you doing? Started off strong, but there's room for improvement. I ain't for nothing, Milwaukee, I'm booming. What is going on, guys? It's your boy henry back at it with yet another video today and today man as you can see by the thumbnail and the title i'm gonna be telling you guys why i deleted this build why did i go away from this post scoring shot creator with all its badges maxed even alpha dog and he's a 96 overall why did i stop using this build why did i stop grinding why did i delete this build man why did i stop with this build months ago when I had already grinded this far, right? We're gonna go into it today, man. I'm gonna be showing some gameplay in the background. I'm gonna be showing you guys my new build, my new main build, and basically why I made this change and why I think you should make this change too if you wanna be known as a comp player, a comp center in NBA 2K19. So, first off, it's a shot creating post score, right? So, the build itself, it's. When I first made this build, right, I thought, you know, I want to be a center that can not only grab rebounds, I want to be able to score, I want to be able to shoot mid-ranges, and I want to give my guard some space by shooting the mid. So I knew that when I looked at these attributes, this was like one of the only center builds that could sh that had a good mid-range shooting, you know? And I was like, oh, it doesn't have the best rebounding, like a 79 rebounding, but if, I'm box if I box him out, I'll get the board just like any other 2K. But that's not what 2K19 is about. If you don't got a box out, you're not getting the board. But if you do have box out, you are still going to get horsed by a pure glass, especially when he gets takeover, okay? And now here is my new build, okay? A two-way rebounder. Now I'm going to go back to the post score and why, you know, he's not the best fit. But let's look at his badges, all maxed, right? And you might be asking yourself, why didn't you go with a pure glass cleaner? Well, I wanted the double takeover, and this build at 99 is the best inside build center by miles. And if you guys want me to make a video on that, comment down below and let me know, and I'll make a full video on why a two-way glass is way better than a pure glass, okay? So anyways, what I learned in 2K19 is that if you have box out, right, even with a post score, you're not going to get the board. And it doesn't, you know, and then there's a lot of, now that I've been playing two-way glass, I know that I can shoot not only mid-ranges, but I can shoot threes consistently. Um, you just got to have the right jump shot on. And post scores, you know, this year, they're really just 1v1 players. And, you know, most of the comp is either on the 5K court, and, of course, the twos is comp too. But So threes and twos are the both the comp. You know, that's where the comp goes. You know, that's where it gets fun. That's where things go crazy, right? And on the threes court with a post score, what are you going to do on the threes court with a post score, guys? Post up. You know, some people even have strategies on the threes to give people the two and double team the ball because they don't want you to shoot the three because the main priority is getting a three off every possession in comp games, right? So what's the point of having a post score even if you ISO with a post score on the threes? At max, you're getting two points. So it doesn't even really matter. And even with my double takeover, I know I can shoot threes with that build. But that's the thing. Now let's get to my two-way glass. I can shoot on this build. In my opinion, I am the best 7'3 glass cleaning shooter in the entire game, PS4 and Xbox. If you want to put it to the test, add somebody down below. Now, there's probably some other good shooters, but they're seven foot. You got to think about that. Seven footers have a way higher three pointer than seven foot three by almost 20. Okay. Um, but, anyways, yeah, so two way glass cleaner is just more of a comp build for me, right? On the twos court, um, I can get boards every time I have box out and I can horse. I can play really well defense as well. Because I have the badges for it. If I play good defense, I'm going to get the stops, right? It's not going to be like, oh, if I get a red on my post score, 
you know, sometimes it's just going to go in because my post score doesn't have defensive badges. This build does, okay? And not only can it play defense and get rebounds, which is what centers need to do in threes and twos games, it can spread the floor. No one is going to expect a glass cleaner to shoot the ball. If you're not known for shooting the ball, they're going to give you the shot until you make them pay. And that's what I do. I make them pay, okay? If I have dimer, I'm green in it most of the time. If I don't have dimer, I'm still making it most of the time. The only time I might miss a couple shots is on the top of the key. In the corner, it's wet, but I shoot most of my shots on the top of the key and they still go in. And if you don't believe me, shut, go come and watch my streams. Turn on post notifications and come and watch me play park on my streams. I stream almost every day during the weekend and every couple days during the week. But besides the point, man, y'all are probably still thinking, but Henry, he, this build was a 96. Like, you wasted so much time. Like, if you, you could have gotten the 99, he would have had, like, Gold Hustle Rebounder and, you know, all of his badges upgraded. The thing is, guys, that just shows you how big of a gap that is between those two builds and how much more comp this build is. That I deleted my 96 to start all over in December, okay? Beginning of December. What, a month and a half later? And I'm already a 95 on this build because I grinded my ass off to get him back up. Okay? And this build has glass cleaning takeover, defensive takeover. It can do everything now. And there's no point of getting that build up to 99 if I don't think that's the best build. Maybe I might I won't get this build to 99, but it's a way better build. There's still other builds out there that I'm like, shit, should I have made that build? But no. There's always going to be another build that can do different th things and is four different things. And the post score this year is not for the twos court and it's not for the threes court. If you really want to make it for the twos court, run with a lock and put him in the corner and play good defense. And, you know, that's an AIDS lineup that doesn't show your skill, but that's just how it is. And that's another thing. That's another point I'm going to get to. The post scoring takeover. If you score with the post scoring takeover... No one gives a shit. Like, you, you, you're you supposed to score with that. That's how OP that takeover is. It takes zero skill, and I even know that, and I will agree with other people, even though I was a post scorer, okay? Respected people on the 1v1 court, all the good 1v1 players, when we 1v1 each other, you don't use your post scoring takeover. That's just out of respect. You just don't use it, and you just play it out because both players know that it's unfair as hell. And that's why when you're playing post scores that are decently high overall on the two score you always say oh if if he's at four points because you know post scores get their takeover at six points oh if he's at four now he's got to double him no matter what because we know if he gets that takeover the game's over okay and that's why i made the switch it doesn't show skill it's not a comp build and you know i wanted to go back to the inside center days you know i'm gonna get boards i'm gonna play defense and then i'm gonna recreate this build so i can shoot like no other okay man now, there are some other builds out there that are good, just like a two-way rebounder and can play just as well. In my opinion, I think the two best builds for centers in comp twos and threes is a sharp shooting rebounder and a two-way glass. That's just my opinion. Or a seven-foot pure glass. Those three builds are the best three builds. Why seven-foot pure glasses have a pretty decently high three-pointer and it's a pure glass so it can definitely horse and it's faster. Two-way glass can play better defense than the other two builds, has height advantage, max swing span, it can play really well defense, and of course, horse up. And if you're a good shooter like me, you can stretch the floor as well. And then, of course, a sharp rebounder, especially at 94, that build changes the entire game. All three players on the other team are going to have to play good defense. And if you're playing with a good play sharp and a pure lock that can shoot corner threes like no other, then it's a GG. They're going to have to guard all three guys. You're basically guaranteed a bucket. And basically at that point, you're just looking for a three until the shot clock winds down. And you'll probably get an easy two. That double takeover will go crazy too. And that's why I have a sharp rebounder with Ruffles too. I was streaming yesterday with it. But anyways, guys, that's why I deleted my 96 overall. Y'all probably think I'm crazy, but you got to do what you got to do. You got to suffer you know, I made a mistake. I will agree with it. But anyways, if this video helped you guys out at all with a build, and if you guys enjoyed this video and you agree with 
what I had to say. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications because I've been streaming on the channel. And if you've been missing that, you probably should stop missing out and enjoy the streams. And anyways, guys, this has been your boy Double H, and I'm out of here. Peace. I was I was gonna ball, I'ma stack that money tall. After I get mine, I'ma share it with my dogs. Gotta carry out the plans, cause you only get one chance. Yeah, I do this for my fam. Haters hate the way I ball. I was I was gonna ball, I'ma stack that money tall.